with each eye. In other words, one 3D image is comprised of two single 2D images. Your brain processes these images to reconstruct the space, enabling you to see things with three-dimensional depth. The first technological steps into the world of a recorded and reproduced 3D experience were taken by innovative photographers in the 19th century. Around 1850, they developed a technique to make stereoscopic pictures. By taking two separate pictures of the same object from slightly different perspectives and then displaying them in a special viewing apparatus, people were able to gain a first glimpse of reproduced 3D. With the first black and white movies in the 1890s, people stepped into yet another world, the world of motion pictures and illusions. Around 1920, movie makers used the so-called anaglyph technology to give depth to moving images. By color coding the information for left and right eyes differently, a new depth experience could be realized in movies. Even though anaglyph 3D technology reappeared now and then, it was never very successful due to its poor image quality. In the last decades, polarized projection technology appeared in cinemas. An adaptation of this technology was introduced for TV screens. In this case, however, a filter has to be put in front of the screen, thus significantly reducing resolution. In order to meet today's high-quality expectations, Panasonic developed a full HD 3D solution consisting of superior Neo PDP and Blu-ray technology. Combining the advantages of plasma panels and their fast response time with advanced active shutter glasses, an unparalleled 3D viewing experience is realized. The Plasma TV displays up to 120 full HD images per second, 60 for the left eye and 60 for the right. This frame sequential display mode works in sync with the IR-controlled active shutter glasses, which effectively separate the image data for left and right eyes. By providing the superior quality, Panasonic is leading the way into the 3D world.